Why don't you come over here and actually show us this camera? This is this is really cool stuff. I'm being surrounded. Oh, here Tell it is. Yeah, yeah. This is it. This is the Lytro light field camera. So for people who don't know what the Lytro does, why don't you explain that? The, okay, this is the world's first light field camera. So what it does is capture the light field. And that has to be defined because no one's ever heard of it, of course. Um, but the light field is all of the light traveling in every direction at every point in space. Right, so rather than take a snap, rather than take a snap and capture uh, you know, one moment of light, you're kind of capturing more depth, right? Yeah, so it's, it's still one moment of light. But instead of capturing that flat two-dimensional plane, you know, which a normal, a traditional camera might capture, we're capturing multi-dimensional information. So essentially, we're preserving the direction of light at every point of capture. So it's abstract. It's abstract data, and then it's very firmly in the computational photography realm. So we have you have to use software then to create pictures from this abstract data that's captured. So the magic of that right now is that. With a Lytro photo, it's uploaded to the web, and you can actually change the focus after the fact. Right. right so all the, of the pictures that are taken with this camera, we call them living pictures. They're interactive, and they're interactive uh, from the camera to the desktop software all the way through the web and mobile experience. So that includes refocus, which is what we ship the camera with. But most recently, it also includes perspective shift and living filters. So last month, we rolled these out. Perspective shift is like going back in time to that moment when you took the picture and moving the camera around. So, because when I learned about it, I was I actually wrote that post, and I remember the, uh, the person that I was speaking to was telling me that it's like the small movements that you make that help you understand depth, right? So I know that Matt is closer to me than the people behind him because of the small movements I make that show me that perception. So that's kind of the idea of perspective shift rather than saying, oh, I'm taking the picture here and then I'm taking the picture from way over here, right? Right. So that, that's exactly right. So what it does is when you move the camera, it's, it's called uh, motion parallax, right? Things closer move faster than things that are further away. And that gives you, that's a tremendous three-dimensional cue for humans. Hi. Hello, lady. <laughs> and so, uh, and so, just moving moving the camera around a little bit like that um, <laughs> sh shows you how far she she was from me. You know, yeah. if we took a picture like now that, um, but sh gives you all the three information you need in the scene to to know where things are, and um, and that's just one of the ways that we can show 3D with these light field pictures. Okay, so what really excites me about Lytro is that I know. You guys have so much data. You can obviously do so much, and we were all excited with the perspective or the the shifting and focus. Now we're excited about perspective shift, but I know that there's more to mine out of these photos. Can you give me even the slightest hint at what we can expect next from Lytra? Uh, well, I think some of some of it you can see from from the living filters. So you know these living filters that we've released use the light field information in changing the content in some way creatively. So, for example, uh, one of them is called crayon. It does selective saturation. So things that are in focus are also in color, and things that are out of focus are in black and white. So using that information to, to be creative um, is definitely something that we are very much interested in. Uh, technically, we can do a lot more. I mean, the, essentially, the, the sensor plane for us, much of the camera is virtualized. And so refocus is moving the sensor around virtually. Um, and all in focus is sort of analyzing the data to make everything that was sharp is sharp in some point sharp at once. Uh, but you can imagine doing tilt shift, you know, sort of um, all these things that photographers do with custom lenses, uh, you, we can do in software after the fact. Very cool. Well, thank you so much, Eric. I really appreciate you chatting with us. Okay, thank you. Okay, cool. Hey, Matt.